Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic John Harbaugh proves me right again. Look. I want the Harbor Knights to please leave your seats and come to the front of the congregation. You must be asking yourself why. Why is Nitro asking for the Harbor Knights to vacate their seats and come to the front of the stage? You must be wondering. (laughs) Oh my gosh. So, Sarah Ellison reported. (laughs) I love this. uh, On a couple things from what uh, John Harbaugh had said in his uh, presser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play his presser and I'm going to read to you what she also put after. All right. So without further ado, let me play the audio and then let me read what she wrote. <laughs> and then let me show you why exactly Harbaugh is exactly the coach that we've been complaining that he is. Let's see, let's see what HC had to say. Game is a big part of what you guys want to do, especially with Henry here now. Not a lot of success Thursday night. What, what did you see when you watched the well, run game? I think it's a great quick point. I think it's going to be kind of every game is going to be kind of interesting and different. I like the way the run game looked for the most part with uh, just the running back run game. Um, there were some plays that I'd like to see be blocked a little better, but other plays that were blocked really well. And uh, and uh, and then we have rushed for 185 yards overall, and a lot of that's Lamar, but that's the formula. The formula is all the guys together. It's not just the one guy. I think we didn't bring Derek in here to be, you know, the guy that gets the ball 30 times a game. Oh. That's really not the plan. The plan is is Derek, Lamar, Mark, Isaiah, Zay, Bate, Nelly. You know, that's kind of the plan in this offense going forward. So I think that evaluation will be best made, you know, over the course of the season. And I'm very confident. There's going to be games where, where, uh, where Derek's going to go for 100 plus or more, and you're going to be asking me why Isaiah only got two catches. You know that's probably going to happen during the course of the season, and that's going to be good for us. That's that's what we want to be. We want to be unpredictable that way. Yep. Want to be unpredictable. No one's asking for 30 carries for Derek Henry. Nobody. Before I get to what Sarah Ellison said, nobody's asking for 30 carries. Can we even get 20? You've seen how the offense opened up off the play action. Why are you so scared of using two tight end sets? With play action. With Derrick Henry, right? Hold on, I'm going to read what she wrote now. Check this out. He said other things in that press that I'm going to show you. Right? So, John Harbaugh was asked... Why 5'10", 195 running back, Justice Hill was blocking 6'6", 310 defensive tackle Chris Jones one-on-one on the final two plays of the game. Hardball. You know, that that was just uh, one of those with the crowd noise. We wanted to go to the base six-man protection and fan our tackles. But we didn't get to it because of the crowd noise. Maybe that's a communication thing on offense that we would love, like to have had. In that protection, Justice made the adjustment. He was expecting to tackle the fan, probably, but the tackle didn't fan. And there he was with number 95 right in front of him. And I thought he did a pretty darn good job given the circumstances. So that's part of the communication. When you're up there and you're looking for a blitz or no blitz and you check your protections, that kind of stuff, you got to work through those things. Didn't you just say you felt like your O-line blocked up stuff well this game? They played well this game? You're contradicting yourself, John. You're contradicting yourself. <laughs> and then he was she was he was asked about Lamar's performance. <laughs> Oh, uh, hear him now. Lamar's just been a gift to Baltimore and to the Ravens and to all of us, to all of our fans and all of us. 
But being in there with him every day, I recognize how much it means to him, how competitive he is, what kind of fighter he is. This guy wants to win. He wants to make plays. He wants to lead this team, and that's what I saw on Thursday night. And all the football stuff, we just keep coaching, and he's the leader in that. But I'm proud of him. I have nothing but admiration for Lamar Jackson. <clears throat> I want to reiterate. I want to reiterate. He said, we rushed for 185 yards overall, and a lot of that is Lamar. But that's the formula. Oh. <clears throat> for real? You didn't oh. learn from the AFC Championship game? Oh, you didn't learn from that? Okay, cool, cool, great. You didn't oh. learn from the Titans game? Huh, yeah, never, huh? Lamar can't sustain that. That's inhuman. I want you to understand this. I love doing stuff like this because breaking it down, because you always hear excuses for Harbaugh. Lamar gets all the all, all the blame, but never the, never nothing goes to Harbaugh, right? And it, and it really irks me because it's like, really, really. Hmm. I'm a, I'm I'm going to something real quick. I'm gonna break this down for y'all to understand. Hold, on. this is for. So just so you understand where I'm coming from, numerically speaking, right? Where are the Raven statistics? Where are they? You come over here. Where are you hiding? There you go. Two seventy three. Okay? Let's do a little math, guys. <laughs> if Lamar kept this pace all season long, he would pass for 4,641 yards. Seems like a good amount. Right? 4641 passing. And he would rush. Oh. I want to make sure that I do this number correctly because this number seems kind of big. <laughs> 2,074 yards. He would amount for almost 6,400 yards by himself. That's your formula? That's your megalomatic plan? And you expect us to be calm about it? I don't want to hear no more. You listen, bro. Listen, let me say something right now. This guy gets me mad because the common sense stuff is there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how I know John Harbaugh so well. Let me what you want you want me to be some nitro diamonds for y'all real quick? You want me to show you how good I am at calling this team? You want me to show you how great I am at reading people? Next game, Derrick Henry. Expect for him to get 22 to 24 carries in that game. Expect for him to get about 120 rushing yards expect for him to get at least two touchdowns expect it because now he's telling everyone oh, that's not what we're doing that's not what we're going to do we're going to do we're doing it with Lamar you're going to see a lot of Lamar's runs they're going to set up um, Henry's I promise you and then after that everyone's like oh you see let me tell you how he does this they were like you see we knew he knew what he was doing right the Harbor Knight's going to come out of hiding and be like is it safe to come outside we told you he's a great coach then the next games after that Derrick Henry's going to have 30 carries the, uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, 30 yards the next game after that he might have 60 yards the next game after that he might have 40 yards and then they're going to go back and hide and be like Harbaugh just do something good so you can come out and, and, and speak your name in such uh, in such a, 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 a fanning motion please like this oh Ball. That's how the Harbaugh has to be talking when they talk about the Harbaugh. Uh, uh, That's how they talk. Harbaugh. That's it. They're talking in such a in such an angelic way. When they talk, it's such like this. Is that the coach? Harbaugh. That's how they act. Call me a liar. Call me a liar. Next game, he's going to feed Henry. Right? And then the next two or three games, you ain't going to see barely anything from Henry. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, expect a 100-yard rushing game from Henry the next game. Expect it. If you have him in fantasy, you're going to have a great game that game. Play Derrick Henry. The Ravens are setting it up for that. Oh, we're not going to use Henry. You know, we're going to use a lot of Lamar. You're going to see Lamar probably rush maybe five times, six caps uh, against, against who we're going to. I, I think it's the Raiders next or something of that effect. You watch. Watch. 
And then when Henry, we should win. There's a high. You see, he is going to run Henry. We knew that the coach knew what he was doing. And then the next game after that, no Henry, no Henry, no Henry. You watch. You watch. That's how well I know him. It's ridiculous. We got Derrick Henry. He's a volume back. Well, we got him to, you know. It's like you know your strength of your tight ends. Your strength is not receiver. So what do you use? Use a two tight end set. Build off of that. Be creative with it. 12 personnel, be creative with it. Nah, we ain't gonna do that. Nah, honey. We like Lamar taking, so, there's like three hits in that game. Then when I, I just, that one when Lamar jumped and they, and they tried to take out his legs, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't wanna see Lamar taking those hits. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. I, I, this y'all coach, man. All the people that made excuses all off season. All off season, I'm telling you about certain things. About hardball. What did I say? I said the O-line and coaching. Those are my two big question marks. And y'all was like, oh, nature, I said, you know what I'm saying? He said, I've seen every time you want to be negative. You want to be negative, 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 negative. Let's see how you feel about this one. Let's see. Let's see. Please. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Because I want to see what a lot of y'all got to say about this. Please. Ah, oh, but as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about, we're going to do what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, I love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the Wonderkind Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that. Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR code to a cash app, cash is located in the description of every video that we do, name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show, super easy, but once again it's The Wonderkin Show, this is your host after signing off, and as always, you know my slogan, peace, and I am out of here, huh, yeah, finish him daddy.